My brother and me got a new project, now that we're on speaking terms. What do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brog and I can construct the Devegrathiker, Dwarven Armor of Legend. We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Which are? Dunno. Armor's pure legend, and the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. You expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Motsognir the Dwarf King found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konungsgard. And looky here. A Konungsgard entry stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. The stronghold's northwest of here, behind the Svartalfheim realm tower. Large stone structure, creepy atmosphere. You'll know it when you see it. The Huldra brothers, back in action again. You hitting the road or chewing the fat? This'll be our best work yet. Just need a little help from you lot. I'm glad Brock and Sinji were able to work out their differences. Now they are twice as irritating. Aw, oh, I think it's nice to see them trust each other again. Come here. You never told us what Magni and Modi had to do with Hrungnir. Oh yes! Well, what happened after Hrunia fell slain upon Thor was that nobody in the court could get a stone body off of him. Thor was no use at this point. His brain rattled, his breath shallow, but none of Odin's men were nearly strong enough to help. Then enter little Magni and Modi, no taller than shrubs. And while nobody but myself was looking, they flipped over Hrunia's corpse and freed their father. Magni, being blonder, got all the credit. And Modi remained bitter about it from that day to the end, which I don't need to tell you about. Atreus, here. Yes, father. Here, boy. Yes, sir. It says, glory to Motsignir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. Greetings, and welcome to Conan's Guard. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various... Sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. So, what brings you around, friends? Oh, nothing. 
Okay. Whoa. Look, it's another dragon. I see it, boy. Chain. I hope we can find the binding shrines. This place is huge. The Dwarf King captured more than one dragon. He must have needed them to create this legendary armor. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Teeth, scales, even excrement. Excrement? Uh, shit. Dragon shit is powerful? Hi, lad. Totally powerful. <laughs> <laughs> the head is having fun with you.
done. That's an impressive front door. These materials must be pretty special to make a legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. But if Brock and Sindri make it together, I'm sure it's worth the effort. Don't you trust them at least? I trust you, Atreus. I do not trust the legend. Oh. Give him what for?
Stone number two. This place is even bigger than Vadergard. Yes. The Dwarf King's reach appears vast. Wonder what happened to him. There's a great mystery, even amongst the sons of Ivaldi. Mozognir's behavior before his disappearance grew increasingly erratic. Why? The Devegrath Eater. The very armor you find yourself searching for. Though he found two, I'd wager his failure to find the third ingredient drove him to madness. Looks like we need three.
Out, but they're rather messy. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. You'd think this dragon would be a bit more supportive, seeing how we're trying to free it. Well, yeah. 
Still seems like the right thing to do. Follow me, Atreus. 